sweltering in your gorgeous summer New Zealand. Happy Independence Day, Waitangi Day. I hope that you all have a wonderful time. But while you're sweltering, look at what has ha happened here in my collection today. Everybody's back inside. Yes, everybody's back inside. And the moment I start squawking, Siliano squawks with me. So sorry about that. I won't be able to filter that out. I am sorry. <laughs> but let's 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 squawk together. <laughs> Sounds all very tropical in here right now. Everybody is inside, expecting a temperature drop at night in the coming week. At least that's as far as I look forward. <sighs> it's been a busy day, but that's not what this is about. I have some things to show you. Some things that aren't open, but I'm very excited about. There's my little Epicatlia Kiyoguchi. Happy field, that spike you can see right back on the wall. This is an orchid I really look forward to. It's a very small little Catlia. The fragrance of this one though, smells like the perfume of Issei Miyaki. There's a perfume she has in one of these very elongated bottles. And that is exactly her fragrance, and I love it. I love the perfume, and I love the fact that I have an orchid that smells like it. So I'm really pleased to see that my happy field is coming along. It's going to be pretty, and it's going to be very, very fragrant. Everyone else here seems to be doing okay. So I'm happy about that. They've survived outdoors. Of course they do. Oh, and here in the back there, that is my um, Renanthera citrina. She is starting a spike. A little bit pale now because she's had so much sun, but uh, that's about as much as I'm gonna give her. And I already had her move to the Blooming Alley location where she lives throughout the summer. But there's a spike coming along. Yep, she's on her way. I had a lot of flushing to do today because while I am actually handling my orchids, and bringing them in, I just make sure I check the pots and flush away. So everybody's been flushed that needed it. My little fairy. No fragrance yet. And this is having difficulty to focus. Yeah, but it's so pretty. We'll look at her a little bit closer. We only just recently saw Roy Tokunaga open. But there's more coming now, one after the other. Pop, pop, pop. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so Blooming Alley has been busy. And let me pan you down because I have my bossery that you recently saw has actually opened now and is showing its true colors. Beautiful ivory blooms. I don't have a fragrance yet, and I wonder if because this is a first time bloomer, I may not get a fragrance this time around. She's very, very pretty. Very, very happy to see this. The root there. But I wanted to show the spurs how down, how far down they go. Yeah. Oh, that's special. All right, I'm going to pan you over here and show you something else that's almost open. This is my Lelia harpophila, one of the Rapiculus Lelias. Normally she lives outside, but when she started to break open that sheath, I brought her in so that I wouldn't lose the buds in case something funky happens outside, weather and temperature fluctuations. But I think we're okay touch wood, we are going to see some beautiful orange bloom on the harp filler. And then, check this out. Opened today. Isn't it typical? The day after the care collab. <laughs> oh, now she's open. So we just did a care collab video on this one. This is Angraecum Crestwood Tomorrow Star. And she opened on the day that the Care Collab video aired. Look at this. Yeah. 
Happy Waitangi Day, New Zealand, from my and Graham Crestwood Tomorrow Star. Dripping with happy sap, but I know that I have the Tomorrow Star now simply because of that lip and the white line going down through it. Incredible, so happy. Yeah, and I'm going to move her back to her spot so that I won't knock these blooms off. However, let me just take you to the All Blacks. I've got them. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Not quite fully open, my friend Takara after dark black pearl. Not quite. They are taking forever to open. But this is great timing for you, New Zealand. This is my haka to you. <laughs> I can't do it. I promise I can't do it. But here are my all blacks for you, New Zealand. Happy Waitangi Day once more. What do you say, huh? You can see the happy sap there on the sepals. And the fragrance is coming now. And it's true, Michael, it's true. I smell gingerbread or ginger biscuits. Very, very, very striking. And what a day for me to be able to at least show you my black blues as a tribute to New Zealand on your Waitangi Day by All Blacks. This is a treat. This is special. On a special day. So have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. To all the viewers of New Zealand, outside of New Zealand, that are celebrating this. Oh, and one thing, just one thing, let me show you. I wanted to give you the Kiwis. <laughs> Can you imagine if my cat Leah, Siamese doll Kiwi, had opened today as well? Oh, but nope, didn't make it. So I wanted to give you my All Blacks and my Kiwis. <laughs> Sorry about that, orchids. What can you do? So let me love and leave you. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Please stay safe. Stay nice and warm or out of the sun. Stay hydrated and all that good stuff. We are not going to be able to do that for a little time yet. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.